Welcome in everybody. Welcome to my channel, Gut Instincts. My name is Julia Warder and today I am going to be discussing my enlarged liver and how I was able to reduce it back to a normal size. One of the questions I get asked the most is, what are the symptoms of an enlarged liver? And I was like, that's a great question because I had no idea. For me, my enlarged liver turned into gallbladder sludge and the gallbladder sludge turned into gallbladder attacks. I was having severe, severe, severe diarrhea followed by constipation. I was having right quadrant pain, right shoulder pain. Um, I was nauseous. The gallbladder attacks would be, you know, violently ill, running to the bathroom, severe pain. And I just felt fatigued and icky all the time. I was waking up at 3 a.m. I was not digesting my food well. My skin did not look good. These were all things that were symptomatic of liver issues. And a lot of times when you're having liver issues, it can also affect the gallbladder and vice versa. They're very closely connected organs. So being able to be in complete misery was what brought me to the doctor and the doctor was able to order the ultrasound, see that the liver was enlarged. And then I was able to make a lot of necessary changes. I have been in the process of reducing the size of my liver for about two years. When I first started my journey, my liver was 19 centimeters and that was very large. Even for my height, I'm very tall, I'm 5'10", uh, but 19 centimeters was still very large. So um, through making the changes that I will describe, I have been able to reduce the size of my liver down to 16 centimeters and it feels so much better. I feel much healthier today and there's a lot of things you can do in order to make your liver start feeling a lot better. The first thing that I did that is very unpopular is I stopped drinking alcohol. I have been alcohol free for two years um, it was hard to make that decision, but once I did, it was the best decision I ever made because going alcohol free made everything so much easier to manage in terms of my health. I went to bed earlier. I slept better. I woke up earlier. It just opened up a lot of time for me and it made me much more productive than I had ever been before. The second thing I did to improve my liver health was I started reaching for whole foods. I really started paying attention to ingredient lists on the back of packages. And I saw that oftentimes there were lists that had, you know, this many ingredients. And what I wanted to start doing was just looking for very, very simple ingredients. And um, that made a huge difference for me. The third thing I did, and this goes a little bit with number two, but I stopped eating a lot of processed sugar. I pretty much gave up processed sugar and the only sugar I was having were things like fruits. Sugar is very, very, very damaging on the liver. And I had so many people reach out to me and say, Julia, I don't get it. I went alcohol free, but I'm still struggling with liver issues. And my first question was, okay, but how much sugar are you having? So limiting your sugar is going to be the one of the best things that you can possibly do for your liver. And I know it's really hard, but the less sugar you consume, the less, at least for me, the less I consumed, the less I craved. And that was really, really helpful. It also helped with my caloric intake. I was able to lose 25 pounds during this time. So um, just something as simple as removing sugar does wonders for the liver. The fourth thing that I did in order to heal my enlarged liver was I started exercising every day. And this could be something as small as just going on a walk. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I started very, very small and I would just do 30 minutes of walking every day. Now I do 30 minutes of cardio. So I usually go to the, the YMCA and it's a very affordable gym if you don't know. AAA gives you a discount and you can get it for like $29 a month. But I go to the YMCA and I usually will just get on the Stairmaster for 30 minutes. I will do a spin class. I'll do yoga. I will go for a run. Sometimes I just go for that walk. 
but getting your body moving is just very, very healthy for the liver. Sweating out toxins is very helpful, and it's just really good for your mental health as well, which is such a huge part of it. So daily physical exercise, I really wanted to commit to at least five days a week, was huge for the recovery of my liver. The fifth thing that I did for my liver was actually taking a 21 day liver cleanse that I have linked. It's on my website if you go to links and then I think it's under liver um, Dr. Tobias 21 day liver cleanse. But I love Dr. Tobias. I have been trying to reach out to his company for so long because his products just have really, really helped in my recovery of my enlarged liver. But the liver cleanse is very mild. It's I showed it to my doctor and he I just said, hey, this was something that was hugely beneficial for decreasing the size of my liver. Is this something that I can take on a daily basis or is this like a heavy duty cleanse? And he said, absolutely take it every day. It's very mild. It has, you know, things like dandelion, milk thistle, supple, um, supplementation like that. But Something like that really, really helped me. It also helped with my digestion. I felt like when I ate something, it would actually digest instead of just sitting like a rock in my stomach. But I loved the Dr. Tobias liver cleanse, and that is something that was really beneficial for me. So if you want to check that out, just click the links in my bio. But if this video was helpful for you, if you have any follow-up questions, please, whoop, please let me know. And I would love to help you. Thanks for being here. And I will see you next week on Gut Instincts.